everyone! It's Sunday today. It's already 11 a.m. and I just finished eating brunch and I've also done my laundry for today. For today, I'm going to digest cases for Succession, for LTD, and I could squeeze in a few cases for PAL. And also, I'm going to make my own notes for Labor 1 tomorrow and for Succession. A lot of you guys have been requesting for me to make a video on how I digest my own cases and how I make my own notes. So that's what we're gonna do for today. I'm going to teach you guys how I digest my own cases and how I make my own notes for every subject I have. So the first step is to compile all the cases that the professor provided in the syllabus. I've already done this step so I'm just going to teach you guys how I did it. Here is my syllabus for succession and the professor said that our coverage for next meeting will be the definition kinds and basic concepts. So these are all the cases that are under that topic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this GR number and where I download cases is Iskra and this is actually a paid um, membership so if you're going to download cases with a fee at least here in Iskra they have all the cases if not all then almost everything so what I do is I paste the GR number here I click search so here this is the case that they have and then what I do is I control A P and then I save it as PDF and based on the syllabus the title is this one so I'm gonna copy it and as the file name I'm gonna name it one and then the case title because I know this is gonna be the first case so after you've already downloaded all of these cases so as you can see it's already here so this is the first case so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to create a folder. I've already created a folder. So I'm going to put all the cases here. And based on the syllabus, I'm going to name the folders based on each topic. So this is the definition and basic concepts, cases. So yeah, this is the title. And here are all the cases. So the next thing I do is I like reading my cases on my iPad. So I'm going to airdrop all the cases to my iPad. So I'm going to airdrop it right now to my iPad. And then where I read my cases is in PDF Expert. So there you go. So now the cases are on PDF Expert. And what I like to do is I like to put them in folders per subject. So here are my succession cases. And the next step is to actually digest these cases. And it's not much, it's just 10 cases for this week's session. So yeah, the next step is to digest the cases. So after I digest these cases, I'm gonna discuss the color coding of how I digest these cases and how it makes it easier for me to put them on MS Word.
So, hindi pa ako tapos mag-digest ng lahat ng cases. But, I'm going to show you guys how I digested this case. It's Union Bank of the Philippines versus Santibanez. It's a succession case. And, so we're gonna start here. So, this is a succession case. So, first, we're gonna look at the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus is the discussions of the court in relation to the topics of the case. So, merong civil law, settlement of estate, partition, will, and that's what we're looking for. So, this is definitely a succession case. What I do is, I don't usually look or read all of the syllabus because may mga topics kasi dun na hindi naman kasama talaga sa topic natin, which is succession. However, all of these is part of succession. So, hindi ko siya masyadong hinighlight kasi uulitin naman siya sa Supreme Court ruling sa pinakailalim ng case. So, I just read it a bit. So, now let's talk about my highlighting system. So, here as you can see, it's purple. And what I do with my purple highlighter on my iPad is I highlight the facts of the case, the important facts. So, as you can see, medyo na-highlight ko siya lahat. Pero kasi... Um, I'm going to make a digest of these highlights uh, once I start typing on my laptop. So, what I like doing right now, I developed a habit na gusto kong makita agad yung arguments ng bawat parties in the case. So, as you can see, I, uh, I made a box on petitioner and respondent Ariola. So, what that means is I can easily see in the case ito pala yung argument ni petitioner. Ito pala yung argument ni respondent. And I can easily see it and then put it in my uh, notes on the laptop. So, next, you can see RTC. Ito yung arguments naman ni RTC. And arguments naman ni petitioner, Ariola, and appellate court. So, basically, purple is for the facts of the case. And the red boxes are for... Um, connoting that this is the party's argument. So, as you can see, this is what you call the issues of the case. So, uh, whether or not the Court of Appeals erred, whether or not the Court of, of Appeals erred in finding the joint agreement should be approved. This is what you call the issues of the case. And of course, again, hindi naman lahat ng issues related sa mismong topic na pinag-uusapan niya sa subject na yun, like here in succession. I encircled the issues that are relevant to the uh, topic for next meeting which is the general principles of succession so here I've already noted more of the arguments of petitioner and now we go to the ruling of the court so as you can see there's a red highlight a green one and then there's um, a red underline and a blue highlight so I use blue to highlight the rulings of the court so anything that um, answers the question or answers the issues of the case anything that says the court therefore holds that the court is of the argument that we therefore hold or rule that yun yung mga rulings ng court and I like to highlight it in blue so alam ko na agad na yun yung ruling ng court and here I just underlined the issues of the case again and the red highlight during the rulings of the court in their discussion I like to highlight in red uh, whenever they say jurisprudence holds that or um, we hold, we held in a previous case or uh, the doctrine entails that anything that is regarded to uh, previous jurisprudence or um, doctrines or principles I like to highlight it in red and this green one uh, I use green highlighter to highlight the exceptions to the general rule so I can easily know okay this is the exception and I use yellow to indicate that these are um, important discussions of the court so this is a big chunk of the ruling it's all blue and so you can see here um, there is discussions of current uh, previous jurisprudence and also a discussion of the court so we rule in the negative it means that um, the answer is no. So here we can see that the question that now comes to fore is whether the heir's assumption of the indebtedness of the descendant is binding. And then the court ruled, we rule in the negative. That means no. So the heir's assumption of indebtedness of the descendant is not binding. 
So, ganun ako mag dissect ng case. Um, I use purple as well sometimes to highlight um, case titles like P. N. Chong vs. Herrera. I like to sometimes do that. And yeah, this is how I digested this case. 14 pages lang siya, so mabilis lang siyang i-digest. So, yeah, this is how I highlighted uh, the case and this is my highlighting system. So, kakatapos ko lang magbasa ng coverage for Succession. And the book I'm using is Dean Pagirigan's book. Kasi syempre siya yung Dean namin. Other prescribed books are Paras or Horado. And I chose to use Dean's book. And I'm using Notability to highlight the book. Kasi ginagamit ng jowa ko yung book. So, yeah. This is what I did. The next step is for me to make my own note. And kung ano yung hinighlight ko dito, yun yung ilalagay ko sa notes ko. So, a lot of you have been asking me how I make my notes. And this is how I make my notes. I actually have a template. I made it myself. Uh, I started making my notes in second year. Sana sinimulan ko na ng maaga. So, if you're just starting in law school, might as well make your own notes for the bar. So, this is the template. So, what I do is I input the name of the subject here. So, for example, succession. And then, I put the name of the professor. My professor's name is Attorney Ganchon. And I put my name here. Kasi maraming nagpapasapasahan ng notes. And I don't mind. I give my notes generously when asked. So, yeah, I make this as the cover. And as you can see, I have a watermark of my name. So, it's Sky. Para kapag nagpapasapasa ng notes, alam nilang akin yun. And meron na agad table of contents. So, this is, uh, the layout is two columns. And this, the notes start here. So, I input the heading, heading one, heading two, heading three. So, Heading 1 is for the main topic like definition, kinds, and basic concepts, testamentary succession, and so on. And then, Heading 2 is for subtopics like characteristics, testamentary, capacity, and intent, and so on. And Heading 3 is the subtopic of the subtopic, if that's what you call it, like general formalities, uh, formalities for ordinary notary wills, notarial wills, and so on. And hindi ko siya nalagay dito, but I make a fourth heading, and that is for the cases, if I choose to put cases in my notes. But most of the time for the cases, I have my own template for case digests. So I'm gonna make my own digest using this, and meron na agad siyang template for digests. And all I have to do is put whatever I highlighted on the case here. So yeah, magsisimula na ako mag-start ng notes.
So I'm already done with the notes and I'm so happy with how this turned out. So again, this is the cover page and the table of contents. So ito, this was empty when I first started and then it will update once you press this, update table and then update entire table. And then automatic na tong mga to lalabas siya because I've used headings here in this part. And it's going to connect here. So when you click on it, it's going to go here. Or if you want to go here to transmission of successional rights, it's going to go here. So yeah, this is the first part. And the only part I've done from the book was the definition, kinds, and basic concepts. Because again, yun yung coverage namin for this week's recitation. And here, I like to put tables so that it can be easier to study. I also put some cases so that I could learn how to apply the concepts to the case. I like putting tables because at least it's easier for me to digest and to absorb the information. And I also put the codal provisions here so that I could easily understand and easily relate the concepts to the law so yeah this is how i make my notes and my tip is do whatever works for you this actually works for me because i was able to digest and absorb the cases and the concepts and the general principles and i was able to put them in my notes based on my understanding and of how I was able to absorb the concepts. The idea of uh, universality of human rights springs from the fact that human rights are inherent in us and that we all share the same common humanity, the inherent uh, uh, right of human beings. We say.